Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the channel for another Screwy Tuesday. Of course, my name's Chuck. And uh, you saw we had a little uh, start there, a little, uh, little Howie, little uh, Chips, and a little machining. And uh, this is a continuation on the uh, Holdridge Radii Cutter, making the tooling for it. I uh, got a couple little clips of some machining in there for you, not a ton. It's basically lathe work. Um, and some uh, mill work, but nothing fantastic. Um, but a little yakety yak, real quick. Um, as you know, I went down to the bash, and during the bash, a fella came up to me, and I looked at his name tag, and I went, I know that name. I'm not going to tell you the name because I haven't asked him if I can release his name, but I looked and said, I know that name. He says, hey, did you go to uh, such and such a school in such and such a city? And he says, yeah. And I said, well, I was a class behind you. And uh, we had a nice uh, conversation that day at the bash, multiple conversations. And uh, he was kind enough. Uh, he only lives about 15 minutes away from me. And he was kind enough to uh, give me a call on Saturday. And I went up and visited with him in his shop and uh, just had an awesome time uh, and He's got one hell of a shop. Uh, sorry I couldn't take a camera, uh, so there's no, uh, no video, no pictures, but uh, just take my word for it. He's got a great setup, and uh, he's doing some nice work. Um, he, he's one of those guys that, uh, besides being smart, he's got the touch. Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm not that smart, and I don't have the touch. I work hard, try to make things work, but... Some guys are blessed and they just have that doggone touch. But anyway, he's probably watching and I just want to tell him thank you very much. Had a great visit and uh, it's not going to be the last of uh, you and me hanging with each other. So uh, let's uh, continue on with the video and uh, for all you Howie lovers, uh, you'll get to see him at the end. Thanks for stopping by and uh, i got to go put a transmission in. Take care. See you next Tuesday. Well, here's what uh, I had fun doing this weekend. So you can see the original parts, one, two, and three, and then my duplicates that I made. And this is for the uh, Holdridge radial cutter. These do the uh, concave. And uh, the only thing I have left to do is this, this guy right here, onto here. But unfortunately, uh, I'm out of time. Uh, my son's transmission came back and we're going to go uh, start putting that back in his truck so we can get him back on the road. So uh, probably show you this. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun little setup on doing that. Uh, getting that uh, set screw cut in, uh, tapped in the, in the uh, slot to uh, make it work. Uh, it should be a fun setup. Anyway, it was real fun. Uh, did all the work on the Monarch and on the mill and uh, we'll uh, see what we do uh, next week. Well, I'm uh, down to almost my final bit of lathe work here. So uh, just got to turn the part around and cut the chamfer on this side. Let's see if I can get the camera and give you a little shot. Well, the way I've been uh, cutting these angles, and there's probably a simpler way, but basically I have my tool set on zero for my depth and then I'm using the compound cutting it at 45 and basically whittling back. Um, I could take bigger cuts and get there but you know I'm too close to the end to change my change how I've been doing things and I don't need Mr. Bozo to to show up. So uh, let's make sure we can spin the chuck without hitting the camera and show you a little bit here.
doing about 30 thousandths uh, cut on each uh, pass. and then go down and clean the bottom. Too exciting, but we'll uh, keep at it and bring you back here. Well, I thought I'd show you this little setup in the mill. So I need to cut the flat on here, and this round is inch and a half, and the ends are inch and a quarter. So to get a setup in the mill here, I thought this was kind of interesting. And it's always nice to collect various blocks. Um, so I think you can see there I've got a parallel holding these two blocks up to raise them almost to the top of the vise and then I've got a couple of more smaller parallels uh, pieces of metal that are I've checked them they're, they're tits they're right on and so the, the opposing flat on this piece is 90 degrees to these flats which I've already put on the part so by putting that in there Putting the part against the flat against those spacers, lining it up to my zero on my vise. Make sure I got my zero. Tighten it down. A couple of wax. These guys are tight. These guys are tight. So I'm pressing basically on the back of here and on these two points here and now I can go ahead and cut the flat. Uh, just love kind of figuring out these kind of setups. So uh, I'm not going to show you the milling, it's just standard milling, just cutting the flat on there. But we'll bring you back when the part's done. Okay, okay, I gotta take uh, 200 thousandths off it and I know you guys want to see it. Alright, gotta see it. Move my plate in. And let's uh, let's take uh, 50 at a whack. All right? Let's check the calculator. Yep, 202 thousandths.
150. Take it up to 202. Okay, flip it over and rinse and repeat. Nice finish on that Niagara cutter. Okay, let's let's let them really wind now.
Hello everybody. Thanks for uh, stopping by for another Screwy Tuesday. As you see in the start there, a uh, little machining, a little Howie, and some chips. <laughs> uh, so this uh, continuation on uh, doing the uh, radial, uh, the Holdridge radial, radii, Holdridge, radi, let's start this goddamn thing over. <laughs> 